Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to create an ID map directly within Substance 3D Painter. As you are going to see, it's super fast. So let me share my screen. And I just have imported this from Substance 3D Asset and create, uh, just save the, the scene here. So how to do that? First here, what we are going to do is create a new fill layer. In my case, I want to make uh, uh, IDs with five colors that I defined before. So red, green, blue, yellow, fuchsia. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going first to define the red, I mean RGB mode, like this. And now I'm going to make sure that all the geometry masks here are deactivated by default. So I'm just clicking on the first one and dragging down to deselect everything. So if I go here, no, it's not red anymore because nothing is chosen. Why? Because I want to duplicate this. So to do this, I'm going to do Ctrl D, Ctrl D four times until the point I have my five IDs. I'm going to start with the first one. So I'm just clicking here and I'm going to say I want this part to be my ID one, except that I don't want uh, the pocket in the front pocket. So for this, I cannot go make it in geometry because this is the, the same sub mesh. So I'm going to go back here and create a black mask. So everything will be hidden by default going to polygon fill here, making myself in object in mesh mode, clicking again, and now I'm going to go in UV mode and I'm going to remove this. To do this, I'm making sure this is the color is too black, so I can press X to go to the opposite, and now I can press on. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm good. I was clicking just in between, so I'm clicking on the different UV parts like this and there is just a small part in the middle just make sure to not drag and drop because you see here for example i i deleted some parts so i'm going to go back to x selecting that and making sure that everything is correct okay so this is good for my red id now i'm going to take this one i'm going to put it to green so red to zero green to the top and i'm going once again to go here and select this part. And as we have an ID above, it's already right because the first ID, the red ID is covering the part we don't want for the green one. So I want the pocket, but for this one, I also want all the parts. So going back here, we're going to add this, 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 and this. Green is good. Going back here, switching to blue. This one, once again, we are going to the geometry mask, which are pretty effective. And I'm going to add all the plastic joints, which are there. And maybe I'm going to ask, add this one as well. This is really up to you how you want to divide your object. Going to the detail one, um, I'm calling it this way, which was the yellow color. And I'm going to add all of the zippers here. We're also going to add these metal things. Okay. Finally, the, the ultimate color, which will be fuchsia, like that. And I'm going to add this part of the zipper on it. So geometry mask is this 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 and this and this that should be good to go we are going to check so i pass myself in um base color mode so i can press c here and so i don't have the lighting and i can see that everything has an idea so i'm good to go go back to material with m and we are going to export this. So you have two choices. Uh, you can go here in texture set settings. And in my case, uh, you see that I already deleted all the previous channel, keeping just the base color. You can also keep them, but you will generate some maps for nothing. So now that you have done that, you do Control Shift E to go in export mode. You choose the template, but uh, by default, it would just uh, export the existing channel. So the color map, just click export it will generate the map which is just here 
So just make sure you, before to do this, that your scene is safe because we are going to import that, of course. Re-import like this, which is drag and drop it. And you are going to ex import it as a texture in your project. So in my case, it's called Backpack ID. You import it and you, kn you know it appears in the shell. And if you go in the texture set settings, you can click here and just assign the map, creative map to the ID map. So I don't need this anymore. So you have two choices. Either you delete them or you can create a temporary folder like ID reference. If you want to rework it somewhere at some point, that's a good point on making it here. I'm going to hide. But if I go to my channels, you see that now between the different maps that I didn't bake so far, you have the ID map directly here. Here we go. So I really hope this video has been useful and that you can, you know how to do uh, your ID maps directly within Substance 3D Painter. Uh, thanks for watching and we see each other in the next video. Bye bye.